اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Dear brothers and sisters السلام علیکم My name is Shweb Khan Today we have got a very special or exciting tutorial for you This tutorial is called The Rolling Not Stones The Rolling Banners So this is what I have done As you can see the banners rolling down and revealing the text and the camera panning. You can have as many banners as you want in the Z-Dev. So this is what we will be doing today. So are you guys ready? It's not very difficult. Very, very easy. Again, I will glide you through it in no time. But let's start the tutorial. Let's start by first making this banner here. For this we go to the composition. Make a new composition. And keep the width 200, height 500, and duration about 10 seconds. Name it banner red okay so we've got our banner red here we will add a new solid make comp size color to click ok so we've got our color here let's apply a few effects to it first we write fractal noise we apply fractal noise we go to fractal noise panel we turn down the opacity to be let's say 20 because this kind of gives it a bumpy look. Uh, we will animate the evolution from 5. Put a keyframe here at frame 0. And we move to let's say 3 seconds because the banner it rolls down in 3 seconds or 2 seconds, let's say 2 seconds. And then we bring it back to 0. So if you render it, you'll see what I mean. Now, next step is we'll apply a ramp to it because ramp gives you variation in color as well we change the colors again to red and a bit dark red here and let's change it to radial red. and we move the start of the ramp from here as you can see this cursor thing here if you move it down you can have this nice color tone in the middle okay next step is we'll add a fabric texture to our cloth here this is the texture that I've downloaded and if we reduce the size to let's say 40 and then we duplicate it and we move it up we right click select both of them right click blending mode we try overlay and then we turn down the opacity as well down to 15 so that we get this small texture here as you can see you can turn it up as well to 20 so if you want to see more of the texture here now if you render it you'll see that nothing is happening here we have lost our bump here the fractal noise that we have put here just because of the ramp we have to put the ramp above the fractal noise in order to make the fractal noise work so now if you see that our bump nav is happening this is how it will look you can also if you want you can apply the bump nav you know the fractal noise to your piece of cloth as well can give you also it can give you a good effect okay the next step is let's add another solid change the color to black and we see top because this is the top of the piece of cloth bring it here let's make a nice design to it by with the help of rectangle tool here we come down to mask and say subtract we select this mask here And then we control D and we can shift it by clicking shift so it snaps in the same line and we select both of them and we bring them to the side so now we select both of them and then control D and we shift it again so now we select all of them control D and we move along let's select one of them control D and we bring it here 
and this way you've got a nice little design here you can have different designs you know in the same manner you can do whatever you like with it so this is something which can, you can do quickly okay, let's apply bevel to it we go to effects and presets bevel and we have nice bevel to it I hope you guys are following me if I am a bit fast please I do apologize let me know in emails you know so that I can adjust my speed with you okay let's change the color to red and we light angle I want the light to come from this side the light intensity increase it to 1 and let's see what happens here let's reduce it down to 2.5 and as you can see the light is coming from this side let's add a shadow to it so the perspective drop shadow we've got a nice shadow distance to zero and softness let's turn it up to 5 and turn this up to 100 so we've got nice shadow here. and if the light is coming from this side from right to left of course then the shadow should fall so now we'll increase the distance to 1 so that we can change the direction of our shadow on the other side because the light is coming okay there you go so far so good so we've got our texture on the cloth next thing is we will write our text summer cell oops and we we'll come to characters make sure it's centralized and we reduce the size as well to let's say select the horizontal type tool and we change this to we want it to be a bolder text black and this is fine I just reduce the size I highlight it and I can reduce the size from here as you can see from the characters and I can increase the size of this one by highlighting it and also if I click outside then I can reduce the size between them so in this way we can write a nice text let's apply a bevel to our text so we say bevel we select bevel alpha and put it on top of our text and we get this nice we change to 6.5 and we change this to 0.25 and we see how it looks so we've got nice shadows here the next step is okay let's bring our text layer underneath our fabric because I want the fabric you know to affect it a little bit as well okay we'll create a new composition because we have finished making our banner so we'll name it final comp and we'll select pal d1 dv white screen square pixels and we click ok now let's create a background for that we go layer new solid and we say sky okay and we apply mask around it because I want the sky edges to be smooth so let's double click here rectangle tool and we bring it in we double click on the mask tool and then we get this transform tool here and then we can just scale it down and double click it we come out of it. So if you click MM on your keyboard and then change this to 140 and this to let's say minus 140 or a bit more. Yeah. Now let's apply ramp to it because we want to have some color in the cloud. Let's change the colors to nice bluish color now let's change it to 3d layer click R 
and we change it to 90 x rotation because of course it's going to be here somewhere so let's add our camera as well let me camera 35 mm and also add our null object and of course we'll attach our camera with the null so we'll pick with it so now we've got our nice camera as well we go back to our sky layer and apply fractal noise so we just bring it down and now increase the size of our sky layer so we click S and we increase the size we have a big size okay we come down to fractal noise and then we change the blending mode to screen so we get this nice cloudy effect also we add another layer new solid change it to white and just put it below it under the sky layer okay we come down to evolution and we change this to one so at frame one it's one and we put a keyframe here at frame zero and then we go to let's say frame 10 and change this to zero so as you can see the sky will be moving very slowly so we can also raise it up to three so that the sky can will be changing or evolving as you can see okay next step is we will bring our banner that we created earlier banner red into our comp here first animate the rolling banner we co come to effects and presets and we type cc page and we get cc page turn so we just drag it across and put it on top of our summer sale so you can already see it's happening here so we just come to the panel here of CC page turn and let's say come to frame 1 second and 10 frames and we change this to 0 change this to 0 because we don't want, want it to you know roll down from the side just upwards from up and down so let's first bring our fold position down here so that it opens fully and from we'll animate it backwards we'll start putting keys from backward direction so let's uh, put keyframe here at frame 1 second and 10 frames we put here at fold position fold direction, fold radius and and light direction so as you can see we've got all these keyframes here now as we move back slowly we come back to few frames and then we move this tool here move it up and you can see it's rolled up a little bit and then we change our fold radius is it 76 and we move up and we move it up further and then we have fold radius move it to let's say 93 we further move up and move this up this is our position here the fold position Okay. So we further move it up. And then we increase our fold radius. We come at frame 13 and we move it up again. And we increase the fold radius again. So it gives us an impression of as if it's rolled down, you know. So we come back here, 
change the timeline and we move it up again we increase we bring this down a little bit up. so let's move it up more and increase the fall radius to 274 and we come to frame 0 and just move it up all the way up and increase the 285 so if you see now our banner rolling down now what we need to do is we need a smooth animation because when it rolls down, it stops, rolls down, it stops, it rolls down. It's that kind of a movement. So let's delete these two keys here for a second. And we select all the keys here. And we right click and we go to keyframe assistance and easy ease. Or you can press F9. So if you see now, this side is going to look. We still need to tweak it. We select all the keyframes here and press Alt on a key keyboard, and then we can bring it closer. In this way, you can bring all the keyframes closer to make the animation faster. Okay, so the next step is we come here and we see that the text being revealed at the back side, which we don't need. So you can this is because the back side is banner red. So we don't want it to be banner banner backside, so we just put none and it changes color. And we come here and then pick the color of the banner. So in this way you can see that the backside, the text will not be revealed at the backside. Still we need the animations a bit slow, so what we need to do is select them again, old and bring it closer. 20 frames so in this way it looks smooth now ok let's apply our next effect which is turbulent displacement so we drag it and put it on top of our cell. let's change the amount here to 10 let's change this to 42 change the evolution to 6 and we come to frame 0 and just put a keyframe here for evolution and come to frame to 1 second and put it back to 0 as you can see the, um, the bump map is still being animated once it's past this 20 frames so what we need to do is we go back to our bump map animation which we did the original banner so we click U and we bring it here just one second we right click and we say keyframe assistance easy ease or F9 now if we come back if we come back and see turbulence what we need to do is again we need to smooth it up I right click easy ease go in the window so it's a bit better now we put keyframes for turbulent displa displacements, which is around frame zero, and then when it reaches here, we turn it to zero, and then we select them all again. Right click and easy ease. S don't forget to save your your project as well. The next step we will do is we will add another effect. So the new effect is CC power pen we drag it and put it on top of our banner so here's our animation that ends here and we come down to expansion and we want to animate the bottom so let's put it to 6 and put a keyframe at frame 20 hit you so that you see all the keyframes and then we come back and put the put it to 0 so it comes down, it stretches. 
opens, stretches it, and then comes back to, let's say, and then comes back to, let's say, again to three, and then eventually, you know, it stops at zero. So let's again put keyframes here. Easy ease, the last three frames. And now let's see how it looks when we render it. As you can see, it's a nice stretching movement here. We can increase the distance between them. If you render it again, we still need to turn down the evolution for turbulence. So we come into turbulence panel here and we come to frame zero. It's six at the moment and let's see what happens when you put three here. It's now it's much better. Now if you see we still get this bump map, you know it's a bit fast, so what we need to do is we'll go back to our banner red and then we change the evolution for a bump which is right now five. So if we do it three so it'll be less bumpy now. You can see. So if we go back to our file comp and render and see, it's much better now. So let's apply one more thing to it, which is bevel. Because there has to be some thickness. Bevel alpha, I put it on the layer. You can see we already get this thickness, but the light is coming from from right so we need to change the direction of the light turn down the thickness to 0.5 still very thick let's also change the turbulent displacement to turbulent smooth because then we can see its edges also being twisted <coughs> here so it's much better now so we have made our banner. Now what we need to do is just reduce the size to 63 and turn on the 3D layer for it. We bring it down. Next step is to create another banner like this, but we don't have to go through the same process, you know. So what we just do is we, we select banner red and then we control D and we get our banner red too. So all we need to do is enter and we say blue. And we go into banner blue. We come into the composition and then we change the text here. And we change the text to, to 50%. change the bevel to a different angle. Okay, we'll go back to the main composition and we bring our blue banner here and we change the size to 63 like the other banner and We bring this one forward in the space. Bring it on the side here. As you can see, that our bl uh, our blue banner here hasn't got the keyframes assigned to it. So now what we need to do is we need to assign the keyframes from banner red to banner blue here. So we open our effects here and we select all the effects by shift so in this way we select all our effects here make sure you select all of them sometimes it doesn't work so now we have selected all of it we come back to frame zero and we say control C and we select 
blue banner and say control V. So in this way we have applied all the keyframes to banner blue as well. Now we go to effects and presets and we select hue, saturation and we come and put it on top of our blue banner and then we just change the color to blue of course and then we move our blue banner away so I hope you understand the way of doing you know duplicating the banners and making as many banners as you like of different colors and different text as well so while you were away I was um, I made um, the rest of the banners like the way I showed you and put them in different in different places different positions and at different positions in the timeline so now we've got our, our camera and null so let's start animating the null let's turn on the 3d layer for our null and then we can just move into the animation so let's say our first animation starts here so we put a keyframe for position and then we move forward the timeline and move into move into to space to reach we reach the last banner let's smooth it up again press F9 or keyframe assistance or easy ease now let's see how it looks when you render it okay so far so good so it's a bit fast at the moment and also our sky disappears halfway through so what we need to do is just move the this keyframe ahead at 8 seconds so the animation is a bit slow and then we come down here we see that our sky disappears so we select sky and click S and just we just increase the size of the sky that's it and then you can apply an adjustment layer go to layer new adjustment as I've told you before in other tutorials as well adjustment layer is a very powerful layer uh, any effect you apply to adjustment layer it will affect all the layers underneath it what we need to do is now apply lens flare to it so we go to generate and lens flare so we got our lens flare we bring it here somewhere and you go to flare center put a keyframe and as it reaches here we want it to come here so in this way we see this nice lens flare here also let's apply one tone to the whole project by going to color correction and photo filter so now it's up to you what kind of filter you want to apply so let's see what we have let's go to deep blue so that we can have one tone for the whole composition it looks a bit professional when you apply this is basically like a color grading you know in movies you see that all the movies have different kind of tones according to the mood of the movie so in this way your in your animation or your commercial or why whatever you're doing should have a mood to it so this photo filter basically brings that mood to your whole animation let's uh, some clouds to it as well for the as if it's got sky and then it passes through some nice clouds as well so layer new solid make comp size okay let me go to fractal noise very powerful effect we put it on the layer here and then we change it to screen blending mode and we go to screen so you have this nice let's change the brightness change the basic to dynamic go to scale and also increase the scale can animate it go to evolution put let's say two here and then we go to frame 10 seconds and we just turn it to zero now it's all over 
our banners so what we need to do is just key it out we don't want it to be on our banner so we press M and subtract it so it's let me turn on our 3d layer for this as you can see the edge here so we go back press MM we want it to be soft now you can see nice clouds as well so here's our cloud layer so and bring it down so you can have more of these by control D duplicate it and bring it forward so there's a flying here as well let's RAM preview it and see how it looks so we have come to the end of our tutorial I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and of course you can use it in your projects you know making commercials or college projects or whatever you know once again my name is Shweb Khan from maxafter.com I'll see you next time take care assalamu alaikum